Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. I'm um, getting back to the reviews after a crazy work week or two. So today we're going to have a look at a kit from Clearprop. Uh, at the end of October this is one of the kits that Kenny's going to be giving away when he does his giveaway videos. Uh, this is a 172nd A5M2B early version. The A5M was introduced in the summer of 1937 in the air war over China and it uh, quickly proved itself to be better than anything else it was coming up against. Um, it proved that the Japanese aviation industry could produce aircraft just as good as anything else uh, anybody else was producing. It should have been a wake-up call for the West um, but unfortunately the A5M remained pretty much unknown and it wasn't until four years later when the Zero came on the scene that um, uh, people really noticed that Japan could produce aircraft as good as anybody. Uh, the A5M was the first production single-seat carrier-borne fighter built as a cantilever monoplane and it was also one of the most agile monoplanes ever built. Uh, the A5M produced basically the biplane advantages implemented in a monoplane. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we get inside the box. Uh, A5M2B, early version. Um, early version you can tell with the canopy there and the shape of the fuselage behind the canopy. Uh, 172nd, uh, CP 72008, an expert level kit, so it has all the, uh, all the nice extras inside. Um, look at the box, there's nothing. Seems like there's four uh, painting options on the side there. Oh, handy guide here. 92 plastic parts, 60 photo etch parts, 33 resin parts, 2 brass parts. So as I mentioned, it's not just your um, should we say bog standard 172nd kit, it's, um, it's had an upgrade. So, let's open that up, and as before, basically it's just a lid, there's a full cardboard box in here. So we'll open that up, take everything out. And we're left with basically one bag, one set of instructions, uh, uh, full colour glossy paper, paints in mister colour, bit of background, um, basically sprue layout and all the different bits. Obviously some of the plastic parts are not used because they're replaced by resin and photo edge. Then going through, uh, there's the one, two, six, oh, there's the painting guide, there's what, oh that's options three and four, so there's another two options somewhere. Um, da, 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 15, got a choice of what the undercarriage, the fixed undercarriage legs look like, nicely detailed engine by the looks of it. Um, 19 steps. We'll go through these instructions in more detail. And there's your other two options. Uh, was camouflaged and three silver ones with red tails, basically. So, let's have a look, see what we get inside here. the bag. Don't just move these out of the way. There's all the resin parts. Plastic, clear parts bagged separately. More plastic. And a decal sheet. Decals. So let's see if I can get the reflection right. Can't see any backing film outside of the areas. It's not supposed to be apart from where it's holding the text together. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, the plastic. Um, we'll have a look at these, uh, some of these parts when we go through the instructions. We'll have a close up look at some of these parts. But looking at, there's the two fuselage halves. These are on a separate sprue because 
Uh, this is the A5M2B early. If you want to do the uh, other versions, even of the A5M2, there's some changes at the back of the uh, basically back of the cockpit area and also with the canopy as well. So that's why these are on a separate sprue, so they can basically give you these sprues again and swap this out, and you've got a different version of the aircraft. So, looking at these, some detail inside the cockpit. Not seeing any aligning pins, so you'll have to put those in yourself or just line things up carefully. Wings, uh, very nice detail on the top and bottom. And not seeing any aligning pins, but I'm seeing very nice detail. And do the same on the outside here. Lots of detail on the outside. Really nice. I can't feel it under my thumb, but I can tell it's there with a with a fingernail. And these undercarriage parts, tailplanes. Again, very nicely detailed. Nice surface detail indeed. Two-part wheels. I think they might be replaced by resin. We'll have a look in a minute. And this is the engine sprue, basically. And I know some of this is replaced by resin. Some fine, some small parts over here. It looks very nice for a 170 second. That's, so basically what you get there would just be the... They've not released it, but if they've released like the basic version of the kit, that's the plastic you would get. And obviously the canopy as well. Inside here we've got photo etch and resin. So it's oh, masking sheet as well. There's two brass parts. There's some uh, photo etch, and there's well, there's a um, a film if you want to use that, and there's a decal for the instrument panel as well. Uh, more photo etch there, instrument panel for use with the film. And then these resin parts, which we'll have a closer look on when I do the photographs. But they don't want to. Here we go. So there's the uh, the vent, air cooling on the cowlings, nice detail front and back, cylinder heads, uh, another, that's the exhaust, engine exhaust, hollow exhaust at the end, two parts, uh, that looks like more exhaust there, and inside here some more small parts and engine parts as well. So. Uh, let's have a quick look. We'll go through the instructions, not every step, just the key ones, and we'll have a close up, a real close up look at some of the parts. So, a history in plastic. Um, for the A5M2B, there's only about seven or eight boxings in this scale. Um, the modern ones come down to a kit released in 2017 by AVI Models, reboxed a few times, also reboxed even more times by LF Models. But they won't have the level of detail that the clear prop kit does with its resin photo etch. Basically, it's on a different level as far as uh, the amount of detail goes. Um, there's actually, just as an aside, there's been quite a few versions of the A5M in general. Um, A5M4 was the main production version. Um, but even those, though some of those go back a long time, and the latest ones are the AVI and LF models. But it looks like clear prop are moving in and going to sort of move the bar to a new level with their level of detail. So inside the box, it's a uh, corrugated cardboard box with a simple plain uh, lid on the top, as you as you saw. Um, so inside, 92 plastic parts, 60 photo etch parts, 33 resin parts, two brass parts, decal sheets, and a masking sheet, basically everything that you uh, would have bought for yourself to do a really detailed kit it's already in the box okay so let's go through the build steps i'll go through the steps one at a time and have a look at some uh, parts where appropriate 
So step one, um, instrument panel basically, although we also are adding the main guns since they butted right up against the back of the instrument panel. Um, a couple of options here, you can use a plastic instrument panel with raised detail, put a decal on the top, or you can sand that detail off, put a supplied plastic film in place and then a metal photo etch part goes on top of that. And there's a few other small photo etch parts to go in this step as well. Then step two, where we use the uh, supplied photo etch um, seat belts and just put them on the seat. Step three, um, basically the rear bulkhead in the cockpit, just putting pieces together on that. Again, a little bit more photo etch on here. Step four is the, is the floor of the cockpit. Um, adding details, more photo etch. There's photo etch um, footrests in there as well. And then step five, basically putting together the three bits that we've just built, the uh, instrument panel, the cockpit floor, and the rear wall of the cockpit with the seat. And on this page, the last step is step six, um, where we're adding detail to the port uh, wall of the cockpit. Over the page, we start with step seven, add a couple of pieces to the starboard wall of the cockpit, and then attach the two uh, fuselage halves trapping the cockpit between them. Um, note there's no alignment pins on the cockpit halves so you'll have to make sure you get things lined up nicely. Moving down to step 8 we move on to the resin engine which is a nice little kit in its own right really. Start off with the, uh, the gearbox and adding a few small parts to that. Moving on to step 9 and you add the nine cylinder heads you have to supply yourself with some copper wire of a couple of different diameters and some 4 point, uh, sorry, 0 0.5 millimeter diameter plastic rod as well. So, um, but the level of detail is quite nice in this. On to the next page, step 10 is basically putting together the engine assembly. Put together um, the engine you've already built, add some photo etch, a photo etch wiring loom to it. Um, put the uh, surround on the engine looks like the cooling fins at the back go on as well as well as the exhaust which is resin with hollow ends as well um, so it's really nicely detailed resin engine is what you end up with then moving down to steps 11 and 12 where we're putting together a couple of underwing small bombs and an under fuselage fuel tank step 13 put together two um, of the main the two main wheels that come in two halves um, I was kind of thinking that might have been in resin um, as they were on the earlier clear prop kit we reviewed the uh, the Gloucester one but they're not they're in two halves here and then down to step 14 and 15 which is where you put together the port and starboard um, wheel spats you have options here for two different types of spats, um, but if you look at the four decal options, they all use the larger spats. So I'm not too sure where the smaller spats come in. On the next page, we have step 16 and 17. Step 16, put the, the two uh, upper wings down onto the, uh, the one piece lower wing. Got to drill a few holes first. Again, there's no alignment pins on this as either, so you'll have to just take a bit, little bit of care. Uh, the wings themselves are very nicely detailed though. Come down to step 17, we add the wings to the fuselage, we add the rudder, we add the elevators, we add the ailerons. Um, looks like we add the engine firewall. And also we add the, what was it, the piece of the fuselage in front of the cockpit. Um, this bit's possibly separate because with later versions that might change. Okay, and on to the last page of the instructions. Uh, step 18, we're adding small parts underneath the aircraft. Um, the main undercarriage wheels, the tail wheel, the hook um, that goes under the, under the tail, and also the uh, fuel tank under the fuselage, a couple of small bombs, there's also a gun camera uh, to go on there as well. And uh, another small PE part as well. And then down to the last step, step 19, basically adding small parts but on the top of the aircraft. Um, 
small photo etch parts. We had the engine on the front and the propeller canopy goes on. Um, you're probably going to put the, fi finish this with the canopy open with all the detail in the cockpit. And one of the brass items supplied was a brass antenna that goes on there as well. You also have a couple of clear parts for the uh, uh, navigation lights, port and starboard as well. Okay, the paint and decals, you get uh, four options. One camouflaged, three mostly bare metal with red tails. Colours are called out uh, by name and miss on the Mr. Colour range. Um, instructions are pretty clear, should be a reasonably straightforward painting job. Decals, you get a good sheet of decals. The ugly backing film you can see is where you expect it to hold text together, things like that. Um, so it all looks uh, pretty good. Okay, an overall conclusion. Um, well, there's no getting away from the fact that if you want to build a really nicely detailed uh, A5M2B, then this is obviously the kit to go for. Um, it's probably the, che the cheaper way to buy it in all one in one box than buying all the parts separately because in here you get you know the resin the photo etch painting masks you know everything you might want is in here you do need a certain level of skill to um to, to play with this one though no alignment pins and so it's definitely aimed at people with some experience under their belt uh, that being said you end up with probably um the best a5m on the market right now with uh, lots of detail but if you want to go for something simpler one of the kits I mentioned earlier um, might be a good alternative. Um, that being said it's um, it's a very nice model don't forget we sell it on our shop we try and keep our prices well keep our prices the best we can we're not in it to make loads of money just to cover costs. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video.